Y'all know the name. What's going on guys, my name is Matinio and welcome back to Project Cars and part 3 of the US Car Pack. This time we are in the Cadillac ATS VR GT3 car and we're at Laguna Seca so we're going to take it for 3 laps and see what it's about. Now truth be told, I have done this commentary before but it didn't record the commentary so I've having to come back and do the laps again so I do have a good idea of how this car's going to handle so let's just go shall we yeah so this one was the surprise of the pack for me because I'd heard nothing about this I'd heard little whispers about the um, the Corvette We'd obviously heard things about the, uh, the NASCAR and um, the IndyCar. But this one was a surprise because I'd heard nothing about it. No whispers, no rumours, nothing like that. So, yeah, we'll see what this is like. It's not too bad. It does feel a little bit understeery. Woohoo! Woohoo! I can get a little bit squirmy on the back end. But as always, I am running this in the default setup. I have no idea what a good lap around here is though. 29, okay. It's a sound pretty pretty good. Found five tenths as well, that's good. Ooh, that corner, yeah. That's the one where the back end is playing uh playing up a little bit. Lap invalidating shit. But it's nice, I like it. And I said there's a hint of understeer. But it is very nice. There is definitely a little bit more weight to it than the, than the Corvette. That felt a little bit lighter. Then again, these are much different tracks. Road America doesn't really have any 
corners that are, have got undulating levels, has it? Not like this place, anyway. Right, let's see if we can get a legit 28 lap. God damn it. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Whoa. One twenty eight two. That's not bad. Well, I know it could be crap. I have no idea. I've got no. I've got no reference for this track, uh, but there we go. Yeah, I quite like this car. It's very nice. I don't like it as much as the Corvette. It feels a little bit heavier. There's a little bit more uh, hint of uh, understeer, and you do get a little bit of snap oversteer through some corners. But overall, it's pretty well set up as it stands. Um, gearing could be switched around a little bit. The brakes are fine. They're not locking up as soon as you uh, get on the brakes, even if you really, you know, plant your foot down. But yeah, I like it. Really good car. So, um, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been part three. If you haven't already checked out parts one and two, then you can check them out on my channel. Or you can just go ahead and subscribe because, well, I'm going to have a hell of a lot more content coming out. And we've also got another couple of videos to go, the Aston Martin GT12 and the Ford Fusion NASCAR. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video, please. Uh, but in the meantime, stay cool, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace! Oh, probably dropped a bit there. Now the run to the line. Have I done enough? I don't think I have. Holy fucking shit! 2.14.7! Woohoo! Oh, I love this car. It's so fucking good.